Hey buddy, I hope y'all are doing well today. I'm going to try to make this a quick review. I don't know how well I'm going to do uh, because this was a, a little bit extra long uh, episode. But this is my review of episode 16 of season 6 of Fear the Walking Dead. The episode title is The Beginning. And this season has really uh, been the best season of fear. I mean, there's been s season parts of season two and season three were really good parts of them. Uh, bits and pieces of the first season was, was really good. And the first half of season four and five were really good. They were trying to build up something, but then the payoff was just terrible on both of us. But this one, it's it's been good all the way around. Uh, I knew that this one was going to be hard for them to um, to equal all that because there's too many stories to tie up. So while this episode's not outstanding, it does about the best that you can do. When you have this many stories to tie up. And uh, starting it off with Rachel though, I was kind of like, huh? But, you know, that's in a lot of ways the first story of the season, you know, because her husband finds Morgan and all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, the truck falling on her, um, I figured it would kill her and that would be the end of the baby. I forgot about it seeing the baby in the trailers so of course no <laughs> um but yeah pretty good idea that she might uh, to make herself uh, a carriage for her baby in walker form uh, uh yeah um the MRAP group that storyline it's kind of boring I mean kind of predictable uh, and Daniel goes from being nuts to you know let's kill this guy and let's kill this guy but hey you know Daniel's Daniel's like Morgan he's has a hard time dying so you kind of got to listen to the people who have a hard time dying? Um, oh, I guess. No, okay. I thought maybe I'd missed a commercial for season 11. Uh, they had they had those in the commercial breaks. And I did not watch this when it was on live. Because I've got uh, AMC Plus. There's no real reason to watch it while it's live except for you know if you just doesn't don't have anything else to do uh dwight and sherry sherry is just a terrible character uh not as much in the comic but the girl that plays her on here just i feel nothing for her her acting is i don't know it's just very very weak to me now the guy that plays Dwight he's not perfect either but you at least feel that he inhabits his character but at least they do do a good deed before the bomb goes off by helping those people and yeah I mean I'm annoyed that she's going to be around but I like that he's going to be around I'm hoping that I'll since pretty much everything's in and in the next 18 months to two years that uh, all the shows kind of intertwine together when they end uh, but and then you have uh teddy and dakota and that girl i guess she is a decent little actress because she makes you want to kill her uh but she, they didn't do great in writing for her though either uh 
because even if you're that confused, I've known a lot of confused people. I used to party with a guy that he was a crack baby and um, he was taken from his parents, him and his sister, but he had to live with his aunt who was a cop. And every time we were all getting high or drinking, he would be like, I'm going to kill my aunt, guys, you know, all the time. He was fucked up, but nowhere near as fucked up as this little girl. <laughs> uh, I liked that Teddy had already planned to screw Dakota over. And, uh, you know, <laughs> you know people like that are always going to screw you over. Uh, but, yeah. Um, so much going on. Uh, Strand. Str I don't know what to think about Strand. I like Strand. I think uh, Coleman Domingo does pretty good. I think the writing on this, so I guess they're trying to make Strand go back to being how he was before. Uh, everything went to shit, which is more just really, really ruthless. I mean,. You know, initially he was pretty ruthless, and then, you know, he got with, he got to be friends with Madison and them, and kind of, you know, tried to turn a new leaf, and, uh, I don't know, he just, he seems to be going back in the other direction. Uh, I don't even want to try to remember the new guy's name that he was with, though, because I just don't believe he'll be around long when they come back in season seven. Um, I don't know how Morgan and, oh, I can't think of her name, uh, but I don't know how they would survive because they're right there in the middle of a bunch of the bombs. But it is cool that, uh, you know, the dog and the baby find them. And it took me to the second watch to notice that he was going to kill him and her. Uh, he, you know, they were hugging and he, he has the pistol trained right behind his skull and just to take them both out at the same time. And that's very loving and also just fucking very fucking morbid. Even for my old morbid ass. Uh, but yeah, you know, finding the baby. Morgan's happy. She's definitely not. She's still in postpartum depression after losing Athena. Um, but yeah, and then you get to the very, very, very end. Uh, and you have our people getting took off by the CRM, which hopefully they'll get more CRM in in the uh, coming season because i've heard maybe two more seasons here which would be fine that'd be good um i just love my zombies so <laughs> i'll take what i can get um yeah uh john dory and uh oh i can't remember her character's name <laughs> dharma i'm gonna call her because i just can't june you know they get away, Teddy gets blown away, and Dakota gets blown away, but it was pretty cool uh, seeing Dakota get fried. Um, just, you know, something you don't think you'd see on a TV show. But I don't know how she got fried that quickly. I don't know. Um... I just wonder how long the time jump's going to be when they come back. I wonder who actually lives. Because, yeah, they can live through that part. But how long will they live? If they live until the time jump. Um, yeah. This is the last of these. For at least, you know. Right now. They're talking about having season 7 start in the fall. So that'll be cool. Let's just a few months away and I'm happy with it give us how last year was supposed to be the year of the dead and it was but not on TV <laughs> but uh, it will be this year 
and next year. So, for all those zombie fans, I'm happy with that. Uh, this will be the last of these, like I said, until that starts back up. Walking Dead starts back up in August, so I'll be doing Walking Dead reviews. Uh, World Beyond, I think, is going to start back up when Fear starts back up. So, you know, there will not be any more zombie reviews, at least until uh, August. So, we'll see y'all for that then. And we'll see y'all on this channel tomorrow for uh, YouTube Jam. See y'all.